We're making delicious drinks this morning to celebrate St. Patrick's Day and joining us to help make it festive cocktail guru, Jonathan Pogash. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. And the rest of the day to yourself. <laughs> oh, that, thank you. That, I appreciate that. That's, That's a really good. nice hey, What do we think? Of this had a good look for me? Love it. <laughs> no, <just> Love it. <laughs> All right, what are we going to make this morning? Okay, so this first drink is called the Dubliner uh, in celebration of St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day. I have some fresh mint down at the bottom of my mixing glass. Right. I'm going to add some Celtic honey liqueur. Mm -hmm. This is a liqueur made from Irish whiskey. Irish whiskey? Irish whiskey. Not, I, don't, I don't do that accent very well. Faith and Begore. Uh, oh, and, and a little bit of gin. This is Oxley gin. All right. I'm going to do some freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I'm just going to squeeze, squeeze that, that in. right in there. And are you ready to shake? I'm ready to shake. What okay. do you need? I'm going to give you the shaker. shaker. I'm going to give you the shaker. Be very careful. Put that in. We're ready? Shake. Okay, ready. Here we go. Here's the shaker. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. That's a mighty fine chicken. You I'm have a going professional. On there. Good? Okay, very good. Right. So we're going to separate the shakers now. Strain it into this ice filled glass. And we're going to do a little bit of fresh mint. That looks just good. Just like so. That looks very good. good. Looks good. Okay, next drink. This is called the O Mianecto. O Mianecto. O Mianecto. Because this has uh, some Mianecto uh, Prosecco. I have kiwi here. Fresh kiwi. Right. Would you like to mash that up? Okay. That's, that's a muddler. All right. So we Just push down. Oh, Whoa, oh flying, all, flying all over the place. Gently, gently <laughs> massage. So you need massage, to tell me that. You need gently, to, beforehand? Yeah, you I know. You need to share that info with me beforehand. Because <laughs> I'm going in for the kill. That's good. All right. I'm going to add some agave nectar. You've seen me use agave yes. nectar before on the show. And some freshly squeezed lime juice. Right down in there. Lovely. Looks good. And a little bit of vodka. I have the Van Gogh blue vodka. Just about three quarters of an ounce. Mm -hmm. We're and there, add, you know, there are so many different types of vodka. Is is any this you know, is true? Any different? Uh, you know, anyone the, better? There than are. The other? Well, Van Gogh makes a really nice one. Some uh, Russian vodkas are also uh, delicate and and flavorful. I love vodkas that have some good flavor going All on right. there. Right. So I'm going to give this a little shake. I'll do this quick okay. shake. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you got the whole motion down. <laughs> okay, perfect. So this has this will have a little bit of a green tinge because of that kiwi. Right. Now we're gonna fine strain. Just Very so fancy here, here. yeah, so we don't, okay. we don't get those little pieces. Isn't right. that, that's a nice, uh, nice little green color there, sure. I like it. It's perfect for St. Patrick's Day. And then we're going to top it off with this Prosecco from Mianetto. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, make sure Look you get it that. in the glass. <laughs> That'll be helpful. But although on St. Patrick's Day it may it's be not, kind of hard. Not, yeah, it's, it's not, not going to matter. Anyway. No, it's not going to happen. Right. It's not right. going to matter. Uh, so those are some nice two festive drinks. And then this is one just to kind of celebrate with your friends if you're having a St. Patrick's Day at home. Just very quickly, it's a variation on a grasshopper, which okay. is a classic drink. Right. It's nice green color. I have some Van Gogh Dutch chocolate vodka, some King's ginger. This is a new ginger liqueur. Coconut milk to make it sort of a skinny version okay. instead of using cream. And the green creme de mint, which adds that nice green color to it. They do look good. They do look good. All right, we're going to a little... Going to taste that? Going to taste that. And uh, taste. I'll, I'll post these uh, full recipes on my site, thecocktailguru.com. Cheers. Thanks, Jonathan, for coming in today. And find the recipes for both these drinks and more from The Cocktail Guru. Just head to our website, wpri.com. Cheers.